denizens of the interwebs. This is Double V. No, this is a serious business about More Fire Pro. The program is called More Fire Pro. That's what I use to make this face. Somebody on the stream said, "How the hell? How the hell do you make that thing? What is that oscilloscope with the guy fox mask that flies around?" Usually it's slower than this here. Let me change the setting. Usually it looks actually, um, it looks like this kind of calmly moves around while we speak in place of a webcam on the live stream. So we're going to make a little tutorial about how you use More Fire Pro to make whatever you want, really. This is one of the things that we could make, but you can make all kinds of visualizations and it's a sound activated visualization. That's what More Fire does. So there is a, an evaluation version of the program, uh, which you can get here at morefire.com, M-O-R-P-H-Y-R-E.com slash pro. Get the evaluation version software demo. Actually, I think you want to click right here. There you go. Software demo. Use that. Okay. So what you do is you open up Morefire. Here it is. And you're going to see this window. This is where you control everything these are different categories I usually don't mess with this at all just make sure custom is on there and uh, there's other things as well these are all pre-made the developers or somebody else who submitted them to the developers made these you can get lots of different visualizations you can connect it you don't have to connect it to your microphone but you can connect it to the music that you play Maybe if you were DJing or something like that. Like, look, this one looks like a crazy little heart thing, I guess. It's activated by sound. All right, pardon the, the beatboxing. Anyway, lots of different presets you could do, but what we want to do here is, in fact, make a custom setting. We'll click on new and then it brings you, okay, make a template. Doesn't matter what you pick, just pick something there. Now I'm going to basically recreate the face that I made just so you can kind of see what that is. That was the aim of the tutorial. So we'll call this toot face at the top where it asks for a name. And then, so what I used, you can, you can mess around with these just to see what they all do. Each background thing is going to do a different thing. Okay, so what I actually ended up using on the face is one called Warp Drive. So we're going to select Warp Drive. I left the background color white. It didn't matter because we were actually using a background texture. And uh, it was a custom texture. Scroll down and find it. And I'll show you how to, to put your textures into this. Let's make sure we're showing what we're doing. All right, so this is with warp drive and the new background texture. You can see it in the back. It's kind of losing itself. So, you know, you have to tweak it. You always have to tweak this a little bit. So here, wherever you install Morefire, in my uh, example, it's in C drive, Morefire Pro. And then you'll find this. This is the Morefire Pro folder. There's going to be thumbnails and textures. I would recommend putting the images you want in both of those because it's kind of neat to, to use as a, as a texture sometimes. But the thumbnail is going to be the bigger image that you see. The texture is sort of overlaid onto the objects in the scene. So these are some of the textures that they came with default. But like I said, it's always fun. You can put some of these as a background and whatnot. You should put the image that you want in both of those folders so you can tweak it uh, accordingly. So this is Warp Drive. It's got some weird little hearts thing going on. You know, we don't need any of that stuff. We're actually going to fix this warp around okay maybe we don't want it to warp around that's the first thing that's going to enable us to deal with that okay so we we've, we've actually made a mistake here we've made a mistake by choosing the wrong type of scene for this particular so let's go back let's actually go back to custom and delete this one that we've worked on so let's make a new one again in custom okay so right here you're selecting the type of scene that you want you can see all these little things now we need to choose this right here this is the oscilloscope you can see it it's sort of a, a basic oscilloscope to start with. You can see what it's doing. So this happens to have no background texture. But you can see as a foreground texture, it's using this weird thing. We, if we change that, the uh, the whole thing's going to change. If we change the background texture again, the whole thing's going to change. Now we want to change the background type for the one that we were using to warp drive, like I said. And then we want to select 
our custom image that we put in the folder mouse wheel down I don't know if there's a bar right there I tried a bar the mouse wheel works the arrow keys might work too clicking show it's not showing anything I'm a little concerned the program is a little bit buggy um, so you do have to fuck with it a little bit sometimes but we want this background and the foreground for now to be like this I remember putting a blur effect if you click next to the picture that you choose you can select an effect I put blur and I'll show you if we can get it to to come up I'll show you why that is so if it does this and it doesn't want to come up for you you can restart the program and then it'll fix it a lot of times I remember having to restart the program several times um, when I first started using this it can be a little buggy but this was what enabled me to achieve my desired effect and so we're gonna base our tutorial on this so here we can click our custom thing click show and there it is so it, it was working it was just bugged out Let's get into the settings for the one we we're working on. Okay, so basically, it's it's spamming little warps. The warp drive is having a fucking problem. And so the way you change what it has there is right there. So I, I think I changed it to invisible. There. So you select the actual blank image there, and it's gone. And so I, I debated having this you can see this warping effect that's there too and you can also see that the face is a little pixelated from the image that I loaded if you click blur you put a blur effect on it that gets rid of that looks a little nicer so whatever image you want to do whatever kind of scene you want to make if it looks funky you can add the blur effect now this thing will warp around is what's making the oscilloscope all funky so the foreground texture is going to be your actual oscilloscope texture so if I change that it's going to be blue if I change it to uh, rainbow it's going to be rainbow okay and then if I put it back on there's an effect warp around this is the one they use for the oscilloscope so it pushes around your background image essentially and I think it's pretty cool I ended up not using it just for clarity so in order to recreate the other face exactly we're gonna select the same image and all that so I had one without the head blur it we didn't use a rainbow I think we just used like this white line right here no we didn't use that either we used can't really remember what I used to be honest so scroll down they got lots and lots of stuff for you to look at yeah I don't think that's what I used either and yeah, maybe I did use this thing I don't I don't even remember maybe I used um, checkers yeah something like that I think checkers might even be what I'm using on the regular version of it and so that's basically it for that now if you want to make something different like we saw earlier Oh, I wasn't using textures. I was using the uh, yeah the double V. Doesn't matter. Either way, it work. So let's make a brand new one and do something totally fucked up. So we'll choose this like butterfly thing right here. Butterfly heart version. Let's show what that looks like so far. So to me, it doesn't look like a butterfly. Oh, it just makes random shapes. Okay. So a mask color. We could make it super pink. Or well, let's make it like like this type. Okay, we're gonna make something super fucking fruity for the background. What can we pick? How about this one? Crazy. Oh shit. So we could tell it to warp around. I guess that's pretty pretty good. Background color could be a green like that. Alright. Oh, it's fucking with the, the rainbow thing. Alright, let's get rid of that then. Okay, so... Foreground type. Let's just choose something. Reflect the background. Foreground, reflect the background. Okay, that's looking pretty trippy as well. Instead of hearts, what could we use? We could use little pirate Guy Fox faces. Let's try that. Let's find the... Uh, the non-sword version oh look at him they're so cute oh dear I don't know if you can really tell 
or you could use uh, these kind of little things or you could use you want something that doesn't have this black all over it see these you could see like that heart was cut out essentially so let's find something else maybe that's cut out or you can always load your own image here like I showed you before uh, in the same way so what would be the maximum trippiness maybe happy faces would be pretty trippy so we could try to make the happy face have something wrong with it too like look at that now it's even trippier and then another effect oh shit and then another effect and then another effect let's do um Hmm, what bright? No. There we go. So now it's pretty trippy. Trippy little happy faces with barking dogs. <laughs> Morph color scheme, random. Now let's go rainbow. Gotta go rainbow on that. Layer one type texture. Um, I don't know if we want that. Yeah, that's going to put like a uh, static image over it. We're going to keep it to none. So yeah, like that's an example of how you make something else. You can see it zooms in back and forth with the sound. Yeah, that one doesn't move very much. But it does move a little bit. And most, most of the other ones will also move with the sound. I think they all do. This is pretty much an example of one that really doesn't move with the sound that much. A lot of the other ones, you can really tell it really, really moves. And that's why I chose that oscilloscope, because it really, really moves when I start talking. You can see kind of a visualization of the voice, and that's kind of just what I wanted. So there's a crazy rainbow bullshit, and we can capture that. I captured it on OBS, so like we could full screen it if we wanted to. I happen to have some stuff in the background, which doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how helpful this tutorial is going to be. I don't really know what I'm doing all that much, you know, but at least I showed you what I did when I made the, the face. So you can get this program, more Fire Pro. Just mess around with the settings. That's essentially what I did. Just tweak it. Get an image in your mind of what you want and then try to tweak it until it looks pretty much like that. That's my recommendation. So until next time then, double V out.